guess you could say I downsized with a capital D. I started with a 1880s shingle-style farmhouse with eight bedrooms and downsized to a mid-century modern ranch built in 1960 with three bedrooms. I walked in and I immediately knew I could make it work. It was structurally very sound, it had good bones, and it was ready for renovation. It didn't take too long to decide to knock down most of the walls in the house. I left up just enough to keep the building standing. I did have to put in a structural beam underneath, but the result has been amazing. Opening up the space completely makes it a wonderful place to live. I envisioned it as a big, light loft, almost like having an apartment, but in the heart of the country. Surprisingly, this house feels more homey than the large, rambling farmhouse. I'm in every room every day. While it's very modern, it's still very cozy and very user-friendly. As you'll notice from the pictures, the one thing that remained constant throughout the construction was the fireplace. That was an original element that I absolutely loved and wanted to keep. As it can be seen from every angle of the living space of the house, you can see it from the kitchen, the dining area, and both sitting areas. We changed the whole window structure. Here you see Dash sitting in the room with only windows and a rug that didn't stay. Uh, and we put a slider out to the wonderful deck, which expands the house dramatically in the summer. It's a great entertaining space. The master bedroom suite. I wanted a suite. I'm a girl, and I wanted a big closet and a big bathroom in my dream bedroom. And I will say I got it. That space had been cut up every which way, and basically we gutted it. Uh, the other thing we did in the bedroom area was raise the roof, and that changed the entire dimension of the space. I wanted a kick-ass closet, I wanted a kick-ass bathroom, and a beautiful bedroom. And I must say, I achieved my goal. It's a wonderful bedroom suite. For those of you who have seen the feature in House Beautiful, you know there are more rooms in this house that you haven't seen today in this video. Stay tuned for my fabulous closet, the striped and very organized garage, the guest bedroom, and my daughter Charlotte's room.